Legends of Collegiate Baseball. Hit nine home runs with Loyola Marymount. 2-2. Two -two. Hit softly on the ground. Play made in time by Addison Carroll. The obviously at third base, Addison Carroll. Megan Ward at shortstop as that one is hammered into left. Gophers have a behind the dish and obviously Lauren Wiles in the circle. That pitch is sent into the outfield, caught by Kelly Riono. So two quick outs and the Illini are able to prevent the base runner. Be joined later by Andrew Berkey as that is softly hit into right, but Riono again able to corral it and make the play. The Illini do up. And she hits that one off the leg of Bree Enter. Can the play be made in time? No. So Kelly Riono will hit safely to first. Jess. And now Bree Enter will face Stevie Mead, who bunts. Can the play be made? Yes, it can. But Riono advanced over to second. contest only had a single but she had a three home run night against Southern Illinois Edwardsville and Kelly Riono will advance to third on that pass ball so now runner on third with 1-1 one, one count Burkmeyer hits it into the glove of Sydney Stralo so two outs now Bree Enter trying to get out of this inning without any runs given up there 1-0 count, hit on the ground, Jess Oakland, the throw in time. So, Bree Enter able to get out of the inning without giving up any runs. Two strikes, and that will be a fair ball. Stralo rounding first, and she will have a stand-up double here in Champaign. As she leads things off for the Gophers, teen home runs, three of those again hit earlier today. Here's the 2-0 to Valencia. And Stralo will advance to third base on the pass ball. Wiles delivers. And Valencia draws the walk. Runners on the corners for the Gophers. Answered runs. And Wiles Catches the runner in a pickle. And the runner, Stralo, will be out. Big 10 and doubles a season ago. With 16, she hits that one towards Megan Ward, who tries to make the throw. She does make it in time. The Gophers do get a run out of it, however, as Delaney Cox and Here's the 2-2, hit high in the air. And Stevie Mead is there in center, calls everybody off it, and makes the catch. The Gophers here, Bree Enter in the circle for the Gophers. Only 27 minutes into this game here at Eichelberger, and just like that, Bree Enter gets three-pitch strikeout to lead things off in the end. Nothing more demoralizing as a hitter either as that one is hit softly in a right center. Play unable to be made by Morgan DeBoard and Addison Carroll hits safely. Jaleen Donahue, who is hitting 309 as a freshman, outstanding as she hits that one on the ground to Sydney Stralo. Easy throw over Will. Debevic hits that one into left. It is a fair ball. And a run will score. Debevic thought about two, stays put at first. And the Gophers' unanswered streak of Illinois. 2 1 pitch, hit on the ground. Play made to end the inning. The Illini tie things up here in the bottom of the second. We got a ball game here in Champaign. And the junior pitcher delivers. Hit into the glove of Debevic for out number one. Oakland. 
Again, 468 batting average, 14 home runs. Here's the pitch outside, and she draws a walk. The batter. Hitting third in the lineup. Not caught by Megan Ward, and both runners will reach safely. Jess Oakland advances to second. Kraft over to first, and that will be. Runs had 11 a season ago. And that's hit on the ground. Megan Ward charging, makes the play at third. Heads up by Megan Ward. Just an outstanding high IQ softball play there. Under hit on the ground in the infield. Bobbling and Stralo reaches safely. Bases loaded with two outs here for this situation. Makes sense, head coach Tyra Perry would want to call a circle visit just a few seconds ago. Here's the 1-1, one, one. hit on the ground. It'll get into right field. One run will score, and the other held at third, so still bases loaded. And she hits that one into center field, and again, another run will score for the Gophers. They take a 3-1 lead. Substituted into 25 other games, so played in most of the games last season. There's DeBevic, and she will end the inning. The Illini able to squeak out with only giving up. <laughs> Illinois again looking to avoid the series sweep, and she hits that one directly into the glove of Breezy Burnett. The And that one is popped high into left center field. Again, caught by Breezy Burnett. So two quick outs for the starting pitcher, Bree Enter. And now joined by Andrew Berkey. Taking, you can always bounce back and get back in the win column. And Berkmeyer sends that one into shallow right, but corralled by Sidney Stralo. A one, two, three inning for the Gophers. We'll be back. Wins together. And if the Illini can figure that out now, like you said, 30 games in, and we're solidly into Big Ten play now, this could be a turning point, but it feels like after. Frustrating, but they picked up momentum in that Big Ten tournament, hoping to carry it on to this year. So far, they haven't. It looks like it hit her. I believe. The bunt bounced off of the home plate umpire, I don't think, realized. And there we go, yep. That's the right call there. For Jess Oakland, McQueen delivers. Poked into shallow right center, and Jess Oakland continues her on-base streak. She has reached base safely seven times today. And she's attempting to steal here. She was out by a mile, yeah, though. and that. Her. Caught stealing, ends the inning. The Illini get out of it safely. They give up no runs, and they've got to start chipping away at this. She hits that one into the glove of Jess Oakland, who makes the throw in time to get the first out. But like we said, she made contact. Just a great play there. <laughs> that person, I feel like. McQueen's been that person, but... You can't rely on her to be perfect every day. When she struggles, who's going to step up? And Bree Bauer is one of those names where we haven't seen her yet this weekend. She transferred for me. That second guy, someone that can step in and, and be there when, when McQueen's not having her day. That's when you can put it all together and put wins together. Addison Carroll grounds out to enter. They're in this series. Exactly. I Watching the game last night, there's times where they're just leaving stuff over the plate, inside, and that's that's when things are going to go go yard here. Power into this game here, second of this doubleheader, and that one is smoked into right. You can see it later. Taylor Kraft has her second homer of the day and extends this Gopher lead to three. That's another one that just floated over the plate a bit too much. Like we said before, they you plug them in and they just do that. And 
McQueen delivers, hit hard into right, easy first, easy trip to first base for Kayla Chavez. Here's the 2-2, hit high in the air, into left, off the wall. And a run will be scored. Stralo stays put at second. RBI doubles. She knocks Kayla Chavez in. A quietly good day. She had a pair of strikeouts in the first game, followed that with a home run. Now a walk and a single. And she hits that one into the glove of Gabrielle DeBevic. Megan Ward unable to hang on. The runner trying to get to third. No, they'll stay put. These players coming in will then... They get a year of, of seeing what happens. And that one is sent to the track in left. Heads up base running by Sydney Stralo at second. Only hit 177 a season ago. And that one is hit hard into left. Caught at the track again. Lauren Wiles enters and does not give up. Down, she's looking for anything that can work. And and a great at-bat like that could get you more playing time. And that will certainly work. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss. Debevic goes out. I don't love that decision to steal right there. There was a bit of a hesitation on Riona, who's, who's been here time and time again. Coach Perry says she's, she's so strong. As you see her go down there, she's been a key part of this team. Here's the pitch. Hit softly on the ground. Wiles tries to get it, and the runner will be safe at first. Addison Carroll's throw too late. That's a tricky play for really any player. Yeah. Bunts again. This play will be made by Addison Carroll. They check on Burnett, the runner at second, so... A bunch attempt to move the runner to... You can live with a walk with Oakland. Here's the 1-0. Hit hard on the ground to Bevic. Through the legs. And the throw to second. Will get Jess Oakland out. Oakland very smartly decided to go to second there because caught the Illini's attention, scored a run. It was very aggressive and... So two outs, two balls, two strikes. And Kraft hits it on the ground to Megan Ward. The play is good, so Ward throws it. Oh. But obviously for her standards, I think she wants to enter that freshman year zone again. Hitters count, and she draws the walk. Again, the Illini have a base runner with no outs to save themselves with these foul balls. It's it's kind of frustrating and for, for them as well, especially when you don't have the results of getting people on base as you see Burkmeyer go down there. The 3-1 hit towards Jess Oakland. Can the double play be made? No, but they will get the lead runner, Meade. They can string together a couple of at-bats, get people on base and, and not leave them stranded like you said as they just did. The Illini can figure it out. See if the Illini can figure out by continuing. Just looking to get the first out of the top of the seventh. Here's the 1-1, one, one. hit into center field. Nice piece of hitting there by Kayla Chavez. It's a great hit. Hard hit ball into center. In game, final game of the series is a 2-1. Did it hit her? Yes, it did. Might have also skimmed the umpire as well. Here's the one, two. Hit on the ground, Carroll steps, gets the force. Heads up play by Addison Carroll. And this series might be what, what Minnesota needed. Coming into it, they were just one. Delaney Cox hits that one on the ground to Eileen Donahue, who steps on first to get the second out of the inning. Average go up, but it definitely a very solid hitter for the Gophers. She hits that one off the glove of Wiles. The throw by Ward is in time to end the inning. 
As the Illini get out of the seventh without giving up any runs, but they're going to have to string some together as they try to do that as the very talented freshman Addison Carroll. She hits that one hard, but a nice pick made by Sydney Stralo. Picturesque defense. Yeah, great hands on that one. I thought that was for sure. Out of Marist High School in Chicago. Here's the pitch hit sharply right into the glove of Kayla Chavez. And now they're down to their last breath. Green light on this one either. And she does indeed draw the walk and gets the first Illinois base runner of the inning. This is the climax of the game. Here's the one, two. Hit into left. Not caught by Burnett. It rolls into the corner. Debevic will score. And Reinek makes her way to third. She's got an RBI triple. And the first bit of energy. Yeah, it's so hard to. And Riono sends that one deep. You can forget about it. No doubt about that one. Kelly Riono makes this a two-run game with one swing. They're still alive. One one count to Stevie Mead, the freshman Richardson in the circle. Here's the pitch. Hit right into the glove of Macy Richardson. And that ends the game. The Gophers complete the series sweep against the Illinois Fighting Illini. Thanks to some great offense, and they won this one, especially thanks to Bree Enter. Great pitching and and obviously the three runs in garbage time come off of the freshman Richardson, but as good as this was for Minnesota, a huge series. Illinois had some life there at the end. Hopefully they can put that into the...